got in here last night about three o'clock, had a great breakfast, and we're ready to go look for some of these elusive all dads. We gotta have Lena up here. that far away. 75 yards. Here we go. Let's go take a look at that guy. You down, big guy? Oh, yeah. Havelina. We've been looking for one of these things. They're stinky darn things. I don't think he had a clue we were there. Get my little camera out, take some pictures, and by God, we'll be in good shape. Yes, sir. Good stuff. For the past several years, Bob Folkrod and his Winchester Model 70 have been especially busy making memories together. Now, there's a new memory he wants to add. And where he's come to find a new quest is the rugged mountain country of West Texas, where Folkrod's hunting with Triangle T Outfitters and an old friend, Ed Tiblis. We are hunting in the Davis Mountains, hunting Gowdad sheep. If it's got sheep on the end of it, I like hunting them. Look at this country. This is something you don't expect to see in Texas, mountainous area. And this is as good as it gets right here. We will be dealing with uh, a lot of rock, cat claw, mesquite, uh, high bluffs, deep canyons, steep, rugged country. Oh, something just scared them. Look at them all run. Yeah, they're all moving now. Well, it's noontime. They're, they're up and moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. But you know, those old sheep, they're, they're not like deer. They will bed, but hell, they don't stay bedded very long. And they'll, they're up and gone again on the move. Oh, look, you got some more up on top of the rocks. They're blending rascals now. They look just like everything else around. I always say they're there. I just can't find them. They're there. I know they're there. I know they're there. <laughs> when did the hunt start, actually? I guess about 15 years ago when I met Ed at uh, Thousand Yard Range. We kind of hit it off there and talked briefly, and I'd invited Bob down to Texas on a whitetail hunt. And uh, we've been friends ever since and hunted deer and turkey and javelinas and elk and mule deer and just about everything else he's got. All of a sudden, we was uh, talking about coming down here for all dad sheep, and that was the catchy phrase right there, sheep. For over 60 years, the words Grand Slam have marked the literal peak of North America big game hunting, in price as well as prestige. But there's a fifth sheep that can thrill any true hunter and not break the bank in the process. First time I came down here and hunted these, I underestimated them. I figured, yeah, just the sheep in Texas, but trust me, you want to treat them just like any other sheep, doll sheep, stone sheep, big horn, desert sheep. It's a real hunt down here. You got some muscles in them chests, don't they? Yes, they do. Native to North Africa, the Barberry sheep, or Audad, was introduced first into New Mexico in the early 1950s, and some five years later into Texas. These sheep are quite crafty, smart critters. They've got a lot of country to hide out in. There may be no more agile, sure-footed big game animal than the Audad. Combine that with a tan coat that matches the surroundings perfectly, and you have as tough a sheep to hunt as there is. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Look at that. He's trying. Oh, my goodness. That's good stuff, man. There he is. He's almost to her. Yeah. Look at that. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You go, how do they stay on top of that rock? He figured it out. Now he's going to try it. He's going to make it. I knew it. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, it'll be amazing if it gets from there up. She's saying, where in the world are you? Come over here. She's talking to him. Oh my goodness, look at that. That little rascal's got wings. <laughs> I would have lost money on it, you know. It tried two or three times and it, it, it come back down. And that just shows you how agile they are and how they can go in places that the man can't walk. We find those rams, we'll find them bunched up just like that 10, 15 rams in one bunch. Measure them against all the rest of them. The biggest challenge for Bob and I is going to be finding a sheep that is 30 plus inches. Now there's three, three young rams standing right there together. The best one's standing still on that dirt spot. 
I'm gonna call him 2829. Nice sheep, he just needs another year or two. He's just a good son of a gun right now, but he's just not what we're looking for. His daddy is here somewhere, and his daddy's daddy is here somewhere. I think we can do a little better, so we keep looking. Pretty exciting, though. We got a bunch of sheep. There's about 50 head. Sheep were everywhere. They're coming right at us now, 96 yards. They kept getting closer and closer. I got these right here at 20 yards. You could hear the mothers and the ewes talking back and forth. I wouldn't want to be anyplace else. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. By Hunter Specialties, for sportsmen, by sportsmen. By Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram, and by Swarovski Optic. I guess I was 50 years old and I decided I was gonna go on a, on a sheep hunt. And my first sheep hunt was a doll sheep hunt. I remember we set the tents up and we looked up on a mountain and there's some sheep. And you don't realize how big those mountains are until you get up and you have to walk that mountain. Well, we left that tent the next morning at six o'clock and we got back the next day at six o'clock in the morning, but we had a sheep. Everything on me ached. You would think you go, all right, this is enough sheep hunting. And there was something that clicked there. Folkrod may have gotten a belated start on sheep hunting, but he made up for lost time with two grand slams and then some. I had a chance to go to Russia for Marco Polo and Ibex, and then I've been down and got the chamois and tar, and, and then the all dad. And there's just something magical when you hear that word sheep. Don't underestimate these Texas sheep down here, these all dads. These are as tough as any sheep going. <laughs> On the left hand side of that draw up there is about 50 head. With that many sheep, we're bound to, there's bound to be a hell of a ram in that bunch. I don't know what they are for sure, but they're just over that hill, so we're gonna go in there and take a look at them. up in there, I mean, it just, sheep were everywhere that you looked. Seeing anything? There's a few sheep out there, Bob. Just a few. 118 head, I count. 37 rams. <sighs> They're coming right at us now. They're 96 yards. And they kept getting closer and closer, and pretty soon we're just like, <laughs> we're trying to get in, you know, blend into the shade, but there was so much wind blowing that they didn't spot us. I got these right here at 20 yards. 20 yards. Wow. The best sheep I see is all the way to the left. And he's not a shooter. That's the best ram of the whole bunch. And I'm gonna tell you, he is barely 29. I don't see another ram as good. And the whole bunch of them just kind of fed out. I mean, that was absolutely a high point right there. We'd have never got away with this and pulled it off if it hadn't been for this high wind. Number one, blowing a scent right over our left shoulder and all the movement of the grass. Yeah, they were right there at 20 yards. Right here at 20 yards, but just a great stop. Beautiful afternoon, sun going down in the west. I wouldn't want to be anyplace else. We've had some good luck looking and finding some ewes and lambs and small rams, but like any time, we're looking for those big rams and they've been tough. But the key to Folkrod's hunting success is being prepared for whatever shooting situation he might face. Well, right now we're getting shooting in shape, and that means we're really getting confidence in our equipment. And then next week I'll start on physically getting in shape and then mentally, uh, I'm always in shape unless you ask my wife, and she might argue with that. Well, we shot uphill, now we're gonna shoot downhill. It, realistically, it won't make any difference. Maybe in your mind, but if you've done your homework, which we have, we go uphill, we're gonna take 50 yards off on this one, that one. Well, let's go to the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot off the pack this time. Okay, here we go. Wait for him to turn the right angle. Wait, wait. Get a good rest. Big deep breath in. Half of it out. Squeeze the trigger. Hit him again, hit him again. Oh, good shot, good shot, good shot. 
Animal down. Clear the gun. That was good. That was good practice. We are ready to go on any hunt that they throw at us this year just because we've done our homework right here in Pennsylvania. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. For sure there's three rams there, it might be four. He's a shooter. He's 33 inches all day long, 34 maybe. It could have been in a worse spot. Look at that sheep, my God. Now this is the kind of stuff dreams are made of. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. By Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. By Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. And by Swarovski Optic. Here we go. We got him. Let's go take a look at that guy. I've got a camera looking back at this side. It's basically here. This one looks right straight down at me. And plus I got my little GoPro. That's how you do a Winchester Legends show right there. And the most important piece of Folkrod's field equipment is his Dodge Ram Outdoorsman truck, a ram for ram hunting. Got a brand new camera so I can videotape myself. And one thing we're always having trouble with is batteries going dead. So here's something that's really neat on this Outdoorsman is it's got a 110 or 115 volt household current. So in my case, I need batteries charged or my cameraman needs batteries all the time. We just plug that in going down the road. So when we get to where we're going, it's charged. looking at this great big bowl canyon and there was cliffs straight up and straight down. Ed wasn't there 10 minutes. I hear him whistling and he comes over and he goes, and he says, I got, I got sheep. He said, I think it's a pretty good sheep. He's turning now, he's going off the rock. He's a shooter. He's 33 inches all day long, 34 maybe. Just walked into the white brush there. I only seen the three, but Ed was pretty sure he seen the fourth one. And you could tell just by looking at him, he, he was smiles and he was like, Ugh. That's the one we're looking for. That is a pile of rams. Now this is the kind of stuff dreams are made of, right here. For sure there's three rams there, it might be four. But I know for sure there's two shooters there. Uh, the one I measured, I think, will go 34, and the other one looked bigger than him. And they couldn't have been in a worse spot. I mean, you look down at this, we're trying to make strategy, how we're gonna get down in there, and we're looking at the wind, we're looking at the sunlight, we're fighting. Toward, uh, toward evening. and We'd take our time and went nice and slow, didn't make a lot of noise. We could we could get right in there and surprise them. We decided we was gonna come in from the top side of them, come all the way down toward the bottom where we could look back up in that canyon and then make our stalking so we didn't bump anything out of there. Well, let's go do it. There's some milk shape in there. 33 on up range. It's It was about two and a half hours, maybe three hours, we finally got down in there where we thought we could look up in there, and I mean, boom, and right there they was. Let's see what we got here. I knew a while ago for sure we had three sheep and maybe four. I'm almost positive I saw four rams from the other side of the canyon over there, but can't find the fourth one. No, that's not him. He was right there. And we're starting to glass, and Ed says, that's a, that's a pretty good sheep, but that's not, that's not the big one I seen, you know? And I'm going, hey, I'm from Pennsylvania. I said, that looks pretty good to me, you know? I think he's pushing 33, and he's facing up the hill. They're all facing the same direction. 195 yards. You can shoot that one, Bob. You get ready there. He's just going inside, into that bush right there. Oh, that dirty dog. He's covered up by the brush now. I got him. That's the one. Let him have it in his shoulder when you get ready. There we go. Man goes, oh no, and I thought, geez, he got back up again. And I look around, he goes, that's the one. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work, by Hunter Specialties, for sportsmen by sportsmen by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856, 
and by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. He coming out, Ed. I got him. He's coming out. He's got his buck to us right now. Yeah, that's the one. When he turns broadside, lock in on him and let him turn broadside. So what'd you got, 194? Yeah, 194. I'm gonna shoot him from 150. And I'm shooting a pretty good clip downhill and going back to my training camp in Pennsylvania where he's shooting uphill and downhill. You know, I just dialed it to 150 yards and I figured that's gonna be it. Ed says put it right on that shoulder and break him down. Folkrod is loaded up with the Winchester XP3 bullet. It is designed with unique two-stage expansion technology and is ideal for deep penetration and massive knockdown power. The aerodynamic polymer tip ensures high ballistic efficiency and initiates rapid expansion. A proprietary jacket design locks the bullet together using a solid web to separate the front and rear sections of the bullet. The rear portion consists of a lead core bonded to the brass jacket and ensures nearly 100% weight retention. Whenever he stands broadside there and, and gets down on both front feet, let him have it in his shoulder when you get ready. Are you guys ready? We're ready. There we go. Down he is. That's a good cheap we got right there. And he went down. That whacked him, didn't it? Yes, sir. And just about that time, Ed goes, oh, no. And I thought, geez, he got back up again, you know? Holy smokes, look at this guy coming up right here. Good grief. 34 inches all day long, maybe 35. Look at that sheep. My God, and we couldn't find him. And I look around, he goes, that's the one. That's the big one right there. That's the one we're looking for. Holy mother of God, look at that sheep. God dang, that's one we ought to shot. And of course, I'm all happy because I got, I've got a dead sheep down there. You know the difference between a 33 and a 34? Ooh and ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good shooting. Good shooting, Bob. Thank you, man. You're welcome. For you guys that want to come down here and hunt these all dad sheep and you think this is a cakewalk, well, I invite you down. I invite you down for two things, to hunt with Ed, see the scenery, and guess what? The big one did get away. He's still passing his genes there, so you got a chance to come back down here and see if you can find that big sheep. This one here we got, that's a 33, and he's he's a dead sheep, and he's mine. All we got to do is figure out how to get to him. It's, uh, uh, that now the work begins. But quarter after five, and it's, uh, I'd say we're gonna be late for supper. We're yeah. gonna be late for supper today, yeah. Bob. We're gonna be late for supper. There he is, right here. That's a pretty darn nice sheep right there. Isn't it? That's bigger than any, any all died I've killed. That's a beautiful sheep, and anybody don't think this is not sheep country, I invite <laughs> you to come down and go hunting right here, man. <laughs> Have a good pair of worn-in boots. Do some practicing on the range, not just on the bench, but get off the bench, shoot off some sticks off your pack and stuff, because when you get down here, my friends, this is the real deal. This is a sheep hunt. It challenges every everything in your ability, and it puts you in some of the most spectacular places in the world and, and this is one of them. This has got its own beauty and its own beautiful sheep right there. All dad hunting in Texas with Ed Tiblis and this is a Winchester moment right here. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products, promotions, and what ammo to choose for your next adventure. Launch the award-winning ballistics calculator. Customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo from five categories. Download the app for your iPhone and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field or on the range. Be a part of the Winchester Hunting and Shooting Nation. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. From expert hunting and shooting tips to exclusive video footage and news, Winchester is your online resource for all things hunting and shooting. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. I want that adventure, those memories. I want to talk to my grandsons, my granddaughters, my wife, and I want to see their excitement in their eyes, just like when my dad was alive. He never had a chance to go in those places, but he lived through me going to those places. And uh, that's what sheep hunting is to me.